Hey guys, it's me again, Pretty Crowds here, with another video where this time I'm actually going to be talking about my footage of me playing the open beta of MCC Island. For the first time, before the others, those who were able to, to gain access to the closed beta were able to get this a week earlier, and just now I'm able to play this right, right here. So there's this new course called Parkour Warrior that I'm, that I'm gonna try out in a bit. As you can see here, there's a few new changes. For example, there's now a season pass. As you can see right here, there's a lot of upgrades for that. The all you have to do is level up your faction XP, and that's about it. So anyway, here's Parkour Warrior, where you get to test your parkour skills with uh, a few things. Complete complete all the courses by winning medals and whatnot. And each course is unlocked as you can collect more medals throughout the courses. So let's go into this first one right here. It should be e easy enough. And yeah, that's it. Parkour Warrior. So this is the starting area at the point at the first level. So so the game starts as soon as you cross that finish line right there. That's when you start getting a whole layout of the quest itself. There there are like bonus route bonus route you could take, or or because you could just skip them and just go through the maze itself. Yeah, the bonus rounds are up op are option. What's really important is that you actually try and finish this in a, in, a, in a timely fashion, like as fast as you can. But if you're new around here, it's best if you take your time with these, because sometimes you might miss some jumps and whatnot. So for beginners, the first step is to like run the course a few times, so you can get like a feel of what the layout is and how everything goes around, what jumps to make, what jumps not to make, and where every everything is. For example, right there, I fell because I didn't know that I had to jump right instead of left. So it's kind of like a first feel thing. And yes, after the time, you jump very perfectly, like, picks, like around pixel perfect, like at the edge of the block. Speaking of edges of the blocks, here's me tr trying like another bonus round, which is like impossible. I literally tried every single attempt, and because of that, I've, I've spent so much time on this one, horn, that I had to just uh, restart the whole thing. And then I'll be curious, what do the other bonus rounds offer? So that's so I came here and went back to the first bo bonus round, and you see here, yeah, each round, each bonus round is different with their own unique twist. For example, there was the spirit beams, and this way you have to jump on the chains, which are very thin. It may seem easy at first to get this. Oh, you can just run on them. No, actually, <laughs> you may you actually do fall through the gaps. It's not like real life where you just you know walk over them. You actually have to time your jumps pixel perfect in order to get to this part. It's like the it's like the copper area, but this one's a little more advanced. So so you should only be able to do this for controlling your movement. And next you have this twist, this ladder twist, which goes like the basic function of twist around the ladder as through the different sides of the blocks. It's very hard to maneuver, but once you get once you get the hang of it, then it should be pretty simple. You should be able to see how to catch on and whatnot. So yeah, here's me finishing the bonus rounds, the first bonus round, I think, and then I decided to go ahead with the others. And for some reason, I decided to try this uh, section again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and, again. and I kept falling over and over till eventually I just started to give up and just go back to the beginning. This is the round where I just said, ah, you know what, forget the bonus rounds. I'll just see how fast I can beat this course itself. So that's exactly what I did. So I went to the front round as as, as proper uh, the discipline plan was gonna jump on the right ones, jump on the wrong ones, or jump on the wrong timing, and they actually disappeared. Like up oh, if you see right there, I fell through that because I jumped because it was a poor timing. So anyway, that every every level has their own gimmicks right here. I've only seen the first, I've yet to see like the second one because I literally just unlocked it today. But yeah, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you guys like a, a recent one. This is the first one run. So I see I I've really struggled if if I had been Mac on you would hear me like very struggling, like oh my gosh. So yeah, I just saw right there, it's best if, if you just wait this one out. Like your first like your first year runs. And once you finally get the hang of the map then this is the window section, pretty obvious. Look out for the glass panes. Also, make sure you time your jumps correctly, otherwise you fall into the void and whatnot. And yeah. And also the third one, obviously, the, the copper pipes. You want to make sure you actually jump to the in the right direction. Jump in the wrong direction, you might hit something. Yep. And as you can see right there, the green dots update. But which actually, which by the way, I forgot to mention. Yeah, there's a progress bar up, up ahead of you over there. Anyway, this is the flower pot section. This is where things get well. They're not. It's not as tricky. It's just you. You trying to jump on the right uh, block. That's it. But for, for, it's not really that hard. Uh, at least for me, it's not hard. Maybe for you guys. This one's a little bit tricky. This one requires trap doors. We have to actually stay on the trap doors, which is kind of hard because they're so thin. They're in the box. It's sort of thin, like chains, but 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 the vantage point is that you have to lean towards the blocks. Once with chains, you have no ground to lean towards. 
And you also want to time your neon your neo jumps very precisely. In order to, to launch onto the trapdoors. Yeah, just so right there, I I felt the first one, I felt the second one because I didn't time my jump right. Yeah. I, I, you would normally look at every shot though, but if you're confident enough, you can make a big big jump like that and that. So anyway, this is and then here's the chain area. Yeah, it was basically the same as the branch one, but this one's a little easier. Whereas you don't have to jump from chain to chain. Well, you do jump from chain to chain here, but at least it's like in the uh, second order, which, you're most, which I'm most comfortable with. Yep, and I've yet to see the third the third uh, pair of bonus rounds. I mean, group of bonus rounds. So this is where things a little get a little tricky. The jump lines, like, you gotta be careful with the you gotta be careful with the glass panes, because sometimes you might hit a glass pane in the air, and it just might mess up your momentum. Then comes the you have to jump at a certain angle. I found that I found this out the hard way. The first time, I don't know, was it the second time? Nah, well, the first few times I found that out the hard way. That it was it wasn't until the later runs that I found that it, that it has to be at a precise angle to jump to towards these blocks, these chains, so it's bars. As a, and if you even if you miss the angle, then you are out of luck. It's not. Yeah, I can see. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe it. I believe it felt that area. Uh, no, the, one, the, the second bonus round area, but the, 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 I'm, here I am back again. What was I? Ah, oh, yes. This, oh, yes, I'm just, uh. Yep, here I am. Oh, come on, you got this, buddy. You almost got it. Yep, there you go, yep. There you go, okay. And, yep, the last, the last one, honey, to us. Same deal, look out for the glass panes, make sure you, you stand on the right side of the box, stand on the wrong side of the box, and you... Also, I forgot to mention, it's a good idea to shift through these things. Cause, cause sometimes you might get too close, just like that I got a little too close to the edge and I fell off. So it's best if you use the shift key your first time around. That's another thing I forgot, to, I forgot to point out. And what else? Yeah, that's better, just uh, make sure you move my... Now, this is the, now the final area. Well, you think it's over, you get to match up, but no. There's actually an easy, medium, and hard version of this. You can take either the, the easy path, the medium path, or the hard path. Now, and each one has, and it's like a little mini bonus round, but rather than going through three courses, you'll get to go through one. And you don't, and you don't have to go through all of them, you just have to go through one. For example, me, I, just, I, I found that you don't have to go through the middle section, you just go through the left section, which is the easy one. And by easy, I mean, not, not as hard as the other one. It's just that there's this one jump where you have to actually latch onto the ladder. But, that, but that's about it. If, if you're able to time this rightly, you will latch onto the ladder. And this and this is where it gets a little tricky. It, it involves the mechanic of going slightly off-center to, to latch onto the ladder on the side, and there you go. I see I was able to manage it my first try. Not so lucky the second try. And as you see here, I finished the course in 4 minutes and 41 seconds. With a total of 10 badges. Now here's me in my second round, completing the giving the bonus the first set of bonus rounds while also gaining at the time 446, which is like worse, but at least I got more medals around time, 13 medals. And here's me trying out the third the third time around, where I actually was able to beat everything um, um, under one minute. As you can see right there, I made sure that I was able to speed through every bit of section in under a minute. Yep. Because the faster you go, the less time, the more, the, the, guess the best record you can have. And as always, I just went through the meeting because I wasn't about to deal with the hard section. Just uh, watch out for the latter part. But that, but that's about it. Yeah, this, yeah, this section really did mess me up. But hey, I was able to get it the first, tr oh, first try around. Will I able to get this last right? Well, yes, I did. All right, no fails that time. Okay, that's good. If we keep going that pace, I'm actually making a world record. Who knows? Maybe if I'm fast enough, I might actually get the other medals. But that's another story for now. Medal, you get, you basically get a standard medal, uh, an advanced medal, or an expert, or expert level. And the requirements are, are as listed over there. You must get at least this many medals at this much time. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, guys, think uh, that comments down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more, more like MCC add and stuff in the future. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.